Today we have a very exciting start uh, to the show. Today we are celebrating National Deep Dish Pizza Day, and the only way to give it justice is doing a battle and battling it out in a cooking competition. So it is time for our deep dish competition. competition. All right, let's meet our teams. Watch out because team number one is fired up and ready to bake down their opponents. She's a host and actress who some like to call the tomato tornado, it's Drew Barrymore. And her pepperoni crony is a chef and author who came here today to drop some cheese expertise, it's Pilar Valdez. But team two believes they have the toppings to top the competition. He likes to dough with the flow, but today it's no more Mr. Slice Guy, it's Saucy Ross Matthews. And he's an upcycle king who's here to serve his opponents some humble pizza pie. It's Danny Seo. Each team was given three mystery ingredients that they must use in their deep dish. Pickles, orange marmalade, and jerky. Preheat those ovens, cause we've got a red hot matchup. It's time for the deep dish competition. Welcome teams. I am feeling the heat yeah. in the kitchen right now. We can't have a competition without a heavyweight judge. Please welcome the host of Tournament of Champions, yes. Guy Fieri! Wow. What kind of hot mess did I get into? All I know is that, boy, do you have a lot of people who love you here, and also people you have history with. Aton, literally. Yeah, I mean, guys who got me to cook. We met 10 years ago. I dressed up as you. I think it was the same wig. Was it you that were, long ago? Yes, you were I was so 14. Young. 14. I'm 21 now, yes. Well, you're looking sharp, buddy. Thank you're you. looking sharp. Looks like things well. have gone. Things have gone the right direction. <laughs> Ross and his husband Champ. Wellington. Champ. Yes, Wellington and I won Guy's Grocery Games Woo! and Guy's Ultimate Game. <laughs> All right, the winning team is going home with this deep dish trophy. Oh my. Trophy. Uh, Seriously. Well, Danny and I, trophy. Danny and I have clutter. plenty of room on our shelf. To All put right, down. let's turn okay. the temperature down in this what kitchen. Is, you got you into. Okay. Let's get cooking. That means go. Oh. Go, 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 go. Not gonna fit. Yeah, okay. oh, okay. What do we have here? We have the. I want to know what's going on. Okay. What do you guys have going on in the kitchen? All right. Tell so me and Guy. Drew came up. So deep dish, right? Drew came up with this really amazing idea to do a focaccia base. Ooh. But then we're doing it. We're going to China a little bit because we rolled in some scallions in there, like okay. a scallion uh, pancake. Like a scallion pancake. Uh, exactly. Like exactly, Drew. You're gonna do the sesame seeds. We've got some cheese and tomato sauce for sure. But then, Drew, your brilliant idea. I because. Beef jerky was in the ingredient basket. As were pickles, I said, what if we pickled the jerky? Ooh, yeah. So we've got the dough, we've got the cheese, rocks. we've got the pickles, and then we finish off with the tomato sauce, and then when we finish, we're gonna do a little bit of a spicy chili crisp. Yeah. So. Wow. All your key ingredients. Mm -hmm. This would be very worthy of Guy's Grocery Games Tournament of Champions. <laughs> I, I know that the champ will not let me down. Champ. Now, Guy, we are really taking it in a totally different direction okay. than Drew and Pilar, all yes, right? This is a room temperature deep dish pizza, cool. but we also made our own dough. So, so it's self rising flour, whole yogurt. And wait for it. And just and uh, pickle brine juice. Oh. Pickle juice in, in the, the dough. dough. I like it. If Ooh. you massage 
puts that all together really in less smart. than 10 minutes. You have homemade pizza dough. That's, uh, I've never heard dough. the recipe. It sounds dynamite. Great. And then what do we have here? So this is where we're going to upcycle carrot tops. We made a pesto. Lovely. But Ross is finishing. It's yogurt. Carrot tops, garlic, a little miso, and then we're gonna drizzle. Look Ooh, how well I miso. stir. Oh, Look at me stir, guy. Here. Don't I stir like a winner? <laughs> yes. Look at me. <laughs> Thank you so much. And he's, he's dressed. Okay. And I love how he's beautifully and handsomely dressed for the kitchen, Thank right, you everyone? So much. <laughs> My natural state, you know that. It's a, it's a little warm in here, don't you think? It I mean, is. It's a little warm, and I just, do you wanna fan down? <laughs> <just> <laughs> being here. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> Just remember where you got that. Yes. Okay? okay, so we're in with the pesto, uh, the pe or the uh, carrot top pesto. Yes. Now what's next? Now we've got our beautiful caramelized carrots. We use the carrot part using the marmalade. That's one of the ingredients, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. And so we've got that, the marmalade, and we've got some other beautiful ingredients. We're just going to top our pizza with this. So this is a nice springtime, yeah. summertime uh -huh. deep dish pizza. But what about, the, so these ingredients really throw us for a loop. We use the, the pickle juice in the dough. What are you gonna do with the beef jerky? Because Danny doesn't eat meat. Right. So, so how are we gonna address that? I did a little swap out. I got plant-based mushroom jerky. Uh -huh. mm. Which is yeah. awesome, by the way. Yeah, yeah. so good. I love mushroom jerky. Sprinkle that on top. That's really good, Danny. And then guess what? We still have our carrot tops. So, Ross, if you want to decorate oh, with more carrot tops. He it. knows what I'm good at. Yes, yes. <laughs> look at that. The garnish. Look how fancy it makes it look. Color. <laughs> yeah. That looks beautiful. Now, Guy, I have a question for please, you. Please, please. Uh, you are no stranger to competitions. Right. So with so Tournament good. of Champions, I want to know, as a former competitor, we have some four competitors here, what do you look for in a competitor? Now, with, with uh, Tournament of Champions, 32 of the greatest chefs in the country competing on Sunday night on the Food Network, that whole thing there is, I mean, instantaneous. You have whatever comes to your mind right off the bat. When that randomizer lands for the protein, the produce, the style, you know, the equipment, and the whammy, whatever comes to your mind, you got to go cook. If you take one minute extra and start to vacillate, you know, which way you're going to you're gonna lose your time and you're out. Wow. Right, oh, okay, no. Some wise words of advice from the man, the myth, the legend himself. Up next, we are crowning a winner. You oh don't wanna gosh. miss it. We'll be right back.